it was a great weekend for Twins baseball, not just because of the weather, but finally getting some wins on the board as well. Some of the youngest fans got out before yesterday's game. This was the first ever kids opening day held outside Target Field. Kids 14 and under played games, made posters, had their face painted. That kid just went yard. <laughs> very, very it's impressive. It's cute. They had like a kid starting lineup and the whole bit during the Whoa, game. Tougher. A kid threw out the first pitch. That's awesome. Yeah. It's fun. Yeah. Minneapolis officials have identified a woman who was found dead in an alley. The Hennepin County Medical Examiner says 23-year-old Victoria Ann Day died of multiple gunshot wounds. Police found her body early Saturday morning in the 2200 block of Elliott Avenue South, the Phillips neighborhood. Investigators say they believe Day was targeted, and they're asking anyone who knows who may have pulled that trigger to call police. A Wisconsin man is dead after crashing his motorcycle over the weekend in southern Minnesota. It happened around 5 o'clock Saturday night on Highway 61 near Kellogg. The state patrol says 62-year-old Randall Beers of Onalaska, Wisconsin, was riding in the annual spring flood run. Troopers say he and a passenger were southbound on 61 when they crashed into a car waiting to turn left. Beers died at the scene. The passenger, a 37-year-old woman from Bangor, Wisconsin, was hurt but will be okay. Thousands of motorcyclists take part in the flood run each year. It follows the rivers between the Twin Cities and Winona, raising money for Gillette Children's. Authorities in central Minnesota are investigating after a pedestrian was hit and killed. This happened shortly before 10 o'clock last night near Cass Lake. State Patrol says a Bemidji woman was driving west on Highway 2 when she hit a pedestrian who was in the right lane of traffic. Troopers say they did not detect alcohol on the driver. State Patrol has not released any information about the person who was killed or why that person was in the roadway. Police in the North Metro arrested two people over the weekend after a fight broke out at an illegal rodeo. It happened Saturday night during a party that drew hundreds of people to a rural property in Lionel Lakes. Five people were hurt in a fight, but not badly. A caller told police some people were using whips and spurs as weapons. Police arrested one man for assault and the party's organizer was also taken into custody for facilitating the unlawful assembly. Officials are investigating a fire at a Perkins in New Ulm. The restaurant caught fire around 1.30 yesterday afternoon. There were about 100 people inside at the time, and you better believe they cleared out of there quickly. Firefighters responded and did what they could, but as we look wider at the scene, you can see there just is not much left of that restaurant. So much wind fueled that fire. Nobody was hurt. Firefighters are still investigating, but they say it appears the fire started on the outside of the restaurant.